247 Tech here and today I have the new Samsung Galaxy Amp Prime here for unboxing and review. So by the name you can already tell this is the number two version of the most popular phone of Cricut, Samsung Galaxy Grand Prime. So this is the Galaxy Amp Prime and they have made some certain adjustments and they have bettered the phone by quite some, uh, quite some specs. So let's go ahead and turn it over. So on the back it says it's a 5.0 AMOLED HD display. You have the quad core processor, 5 megapixel with flash uh, rear camera and a 2 megapixel front camera. So let's go ahead and turn it back over and let's get to the unboxing. So in here you have the quick and simple start guide and then you have the phone right over here. I'm going to go ahead and take that and put it to the side. Under here you have a SIM card which we're not going to need right now. Then under here you have some terms and conditions now packed and not just let loose, they're packed up now, so that's pretty cool. Uh, then you have the regular micro USB cable. This is not the C charger, I believe. This is the regular micro USB. Uh, you have the adapter that you can go ahead and plug into your wall. And you have the battery of the phone, which looks pretty identical to the Grand Prime. So I'm gonna go ahead and plug in the battery and all that kind of good stuff, and I'll get back to y'all. All right, guys, so I went ahead and put the battery into the phone, and as soon as you look at the phone, they, the phone pretty much looks like the Samsung Galaxy Grand Prime, but this is the Amp Prime, as I said. Uh, the back looks pretty much the same. You have the same placement of the camera, the flash, and the speaker. On the side, you have the uh, home button, uh, actually the power button. At the top, you have the AUX jack port where you can plug in your earphones, the volume up, volume down button here, and at the bottom you have the regular uh, micro USB slot. On the screen does look a little bit different. Uh, you have the whole uh, black uh, background instead of having a whole white background. On the bottom here you have the back, home, and the menu buttons. So let's go ahead and turn on the phone. Just press it down. And you have that. Let me go ahead and take this off so y'all can see it clearly. So it just says Samsung Galaxy Amp Prime. go just waiting for the cricket music to keep there you go so right over here you have the front camera which is a 2 megapixel front camera on the back you have a 5 megapixel with the flash some cool specs about this phone is that it has a 1.3 gigahertz quad core processor uh, you have this whole startup thing uh, I'm just gonna tell you all the specs so it's 1.3 quad core processor 26 mAh battery 2600 sorry uh, it has the Wi-Fi, you have all that kind of good thing. One big thing that they did upgrade from the Galaxy Grand Prime to this phone is the internal memory. So this one has a 16 gigabyte internal memory and a memory card slot for up to 128 gigabytes. And the phone is running on the new uh, Android 6.0 Marshmallow. So that means most likely the Galaxy Grand Prime, sorry for the people who have it, most likely will not get Marshmallow. So let's go ahead and skip everything. Okay, I'm gonna skip all that kind of stuff. Ooh. Skip anyway. Next. Android should just put a whole whole thing that just says skip everything. <laughs> okay, I agree. All right, and there you go. We have the home home screen of the phone. So definitely seems like they did put the AMO display. It's a pretty vibrant and uh, nice display. It makes all the colors pop out and look nice. So in here, you have the home screen. Let's go ahead and test some things out. So you have the Deezer. Let's go ahead and test out the messaging on this phone and see how good the uh, keyboard is and the sensitivity. So let's go ahead and type what's up. So yeah, it's a pretty good dis uh, display. It just tells you to go ahead and do all that kind of stuff with all the uh, autocorrect. So you, it has a pretty good and responsive screen. Uh, pretty nice, not too bad. Uh, pretty much the same as the Galaxy Grand Prime, to be honest. Uh, I believe it was uh, the same and uh, in sensitivity. Over here you have the emojis for the people who like the emojis. You have all the emojis and you can insert all of them. A uh, bunch of emojis. So people that have the uh, people that want to know if they have emojis, you do have emojis right over here. So I'm gonna go ahead and click the home button, and that takes us back to the home menu screen. Uh, the drop down bar from the top pretty much looks the same. You have all the widgets right here, and more widgets if you press that uh, little down arrow key. Let's go ahead and put that up. 
Now let's go ahead and test the camera. A lot of people uh, like the cameras on these phones. So let's go ahead and take the Canon cap. And first reaction of the back camera is it's kind of fuzzy, but I'm not sure. I don't have really good lighting here, so I wouldn't really be sure, but it is kind of a fuzzy camera. I would say the Grand Prime would have a better camera or at least the same camera, but this one kind of seems fuzzy to me in my opinion. Uh, let's go ahead and flip it over. So the front camera is definitely nice, very nice front camera, pretty clear. You can see my ca uh, Canon camera and everything. Let's go ahead and flip that back over. So pretty nice front camera. I think they should have worked a little bit better and had a better, better back camera. Is there anything covering it up? No, everything's cut out. So I mean, yeah, I, I would say they should have had put a little bit better uh, camera, but that's all good. Uh, you have the record button and the camera button right there. Let's go ahead and go home again. Uh, let's go ahead and test out the phone. So it has a pretty big screen. It has a 5.0 display and they didn't build the keys in uh, onto the phone, but they take up very little space, so that's pretty cool. Uh, but yeah, pretty sizable keys and pretty cool, uh, pretty cool thing that they went ahead and uh, didn't take up much of the whole phone screen to go ahead and uh, make these little buttons down here. So over here, you have the whole folder that has all the YouTube apps and all that kind of stuff. Uh, you have the calendar app, Play Store, nothing really much new. It's the same exact things, uh, Galaxy apps and all that kind of stuff. You can edit them. In the Cricut, you have the Deezer, My Cricut, and Visual Voicemail. Uh, in the Samsung, you have the voice recorder. So pretty much same thing as the Galaxy Grand Prime. I, I would say the biggest thing that they went ahead and did is put uh, 16 gigabytes of internal memory, which is a big thing, and they have the Super AMOLED display. Uh, so screen size and everything is pretty much the same. Uh, and it runs on Android 5.0 Marshmallow. Now this phone, 6.0 Marshmallow, sorry. This phone is available for $149.99 for at your Cricut locations. So you can go ahead and pick that up if you are interested in this phone. Pretty cool phone, pretty neat phone. I mean, Samsung always makes good phones. So uh, big ups to Samsung for making this phone in the second part of the Galaxy, Grand, uh, Galaxy Prime series. Uh, another big announcement from Cricut is that uh, I'm not sure if y'all seen this yet, but Cricut basically went ahead and released a whole new plan, which is the $70 monthly plan. Now it has unlimited talk text and all that kind of stuff, but the biggest change to that $70 plan is that you have now unlimited internet. Before Cricut had a plan which was $60 and 10 gigabytes of internet, but now they have 70 and you get unlimited internet. So if y'all have like, you know, other providers or stuff like that, you don't want to switch to Cricut, that's something to think about. It's $70 for unlimited internet. So that's pretty cool. That's one of the biggest, uh, that's one of the biggest things, announcements that they made today, actually on the, on today, which is Sunday. So, uh, y'all can definitely check that out. But other than that, it's got that guys, that's it for this one. I'm going to go ahead and post this link under the Grand Prime video also. So the people that want have checked out the Grand Prime can check out the second version. There is another phone here that I also have with me, which is the Amp, Amp 2. It's not the Amp Prime, but this is uh, it's the Samsung Amp 2, which I will be unboxing soon too. And probably you can check it out on my channel tomorrow. Uh, but other than that, guys, that's it for this one. Go ahead and leave a like if you enjoyed the video. Go ahead and subscribe to this channel. A bunch of new content is coming out and a uh, giveaway is coming soon too, so be on the lookout for that. But other than that, guys, that's it for this one. Thank you for watching. Take care.